Hey guys, welcome back for another realistic rebuild. We're going to be back here taking on the Dolphins this time. Uh, they're definitely going to be one of the tougher teams to rebuild here because they do got a lot of holes. I mean, quarterback's going to be the main concern, obviously, here. Uh, there is a few bright spots. A wide receiver I really like. You're going to have Devontae Parker, Kenny Stills, and Danny Amendola. I mean, but he is getting up there in age, and he has a pretty decent-sized contract, so... That's going to be one of those tough contracts there. We do have Mike Isicki. I really like him as a rookie. Uh, offensive line's actually better than you would think. You have two good tackles in Jawoon James and Laramie Tunsil, who should be able to last the whole rebuild, hopefully, and be pretty big tackles for us, hopefully not allow a lot of sacks like we usually get here. Uh, defense has definitely went down over the years here, uh, losing in Dominican Sue and such but we are going to have maninka fitzpatrick and xavier howard who i really like to be a number two cornerback which should be pretty good uh rashad jones here actually has a pretty good contract as a safety i mean he's got a lot of cap hit but he's getting up there in age so that might be maybe a trade target for us free safety could use an upgrade linebackers could really use an upgrade although i really do like jerome baker here 77 overall rookie definitely uh, keeping him this whole rebuild defensive line needs rebuilt uh, Cameron Wake and Robert Quinn usually start regressing pretty quickly actually Cameron Brake usually regresses after the first year so we definitely have some work to do on the defensive side of the ball probably more so than offense because we do have some good offensive pieces we do need a quarterback though that's probably my main priority but besides that yeah I like the way the team is looking receivers are probably our best spot uh, I think we'll get about eight wins this year. Probably not a lot more than that, to be honest. Uh, I did actually want to take a look at how old is this guy? Because I believe he's decently, yeah, he's 30. Oh, that's tough. You start regressing massively. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to throw this guy on the trade block. He has a good cap hit as well. So let's see how much it would free up getting rid of him in the first place. Yeah, we're going to get like a significant cap hit decrease if we get rid of him. So I'm hoping to try and trade him, so I'll be back for that. And if nobody offers him any trade offers, I'll just hop here into midseason. We actually are going to get some pretty good trade offers here that I'm excited about. Uh, definitely don't want to set Baltimore's Brandon Carr is like 32. So don't want to take on another cap hit from that. I actually think the Patriots are going to give us the best pick here. They're giving us a second round pick this year for him. Granted, he's in the AFC. I'm willing to take the risk. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going to get a second round and a seventh round pick, so... I'm pretty excited about that. That's going to actually help us out pretty decently. We're going to add some more picks here for the upcoming draft. We need some players badly. Quarterback, one of those positions of need. So let's go ahead and hop into the midseason here, see what our record is looking like, and some players we're going to have to resign. So we're going to be back here at midseason. Oh, wow. We're 2-6. and six. Didn't think we'd have a great year. Didn't expect to. So let's go ahead and see some players we're going to have to resign. Hopefully, we do have one of the top draft picks. I'm actually... Hoping we do. Players are going to have to re-sign. Cameron Wake, not going to bring him back. William Hayes, going to let him go as well. Because those are pretty old defensive linemen there. We need to get an upgrade and younger at that position. Jawan James, definitely want to bring him back though. He's going to be one of our young tackles here that I'm hoping can stay with us the whole rebuild. So going to bring him back. Frank Gore, going to let him go. He's 35. AJ Derby, I'll let him go as well. Uh, definitely going to let go. Yeah, okay. There's nobody here I really want to bring back. I mean, Brock Osweiler, he's got a massive cap hit. Oh, wow. He wants a huge contract as well. $23 million over three years? No way, dude. So let's go ahead and sign. Yeah, Jawan James is literally the only guy I'm going to bring back here. So that's going to be it here for midseason. Let's go ahead and hop to the end of the season. See what kind of record we had. Probably isn't going to be good. And we'll also check out our stats for the year. All right, so we didn't make the playoffs here. We finished 6-9-1. I'm hoping that's going to get us a high draft pick. Should give us maybe top 10, I'm hoping. Uh, also, before we hopped into the stats here, I just wanted to let you guys know I'm not going to show the uh, upgrades. I just do auto upgrade now. I don't upgrade it myself. I like that way a lot more. But I will show you how many upgrade points everybody got. But yeah, I just do auto upgrades to make it a bit more realistic. Because I don't like keep on going into the same archetype every time. I want to make it like realistic go into different ones yeah i mean you won't just be able to get everybody's scheme fit you know in real life so make it a bit more realistic but yeah maninka fitzpatrick had a decent amount of upgrade points and so did our defensive tackle so let's go ahead and see what kind of year we had here do are we in any of the yearly awards to begin let's go ahead and check out mvp goes to elliot we're not in the top 10 unsurprisingly there 
Offensive player of the year goes to Le'Veon Bell, where nobody in there. Defensive player of the year goes to Miles Jack. We got nobody. Offensive rookie goes to Mayfield. We got Mike Asicki up there. That's nice. Defensive rookie goes to Darius Leonard. All right. Oh, wow. Jerome Baker's up there at number two. Manika Fitzpatrick coming in at number four. Best quarterback goes to Mayfield. Uh, it looked like, uh, yeah, Ryan Tannehill had a decent year, but he's not in the top ten. Best running back goes to Bell. We're not in there either. Best wide receiver goes to Allen. Wow, we really didn't have a lot of great players here to Castro. Or at least nobody played great this year. No defensive line. I mean, no uh, offensive line there. Don't think, yeah, we don't got anybody in the defensive line. Linebackers. Uh, nobody, man. Okay. Defensive back. Do we got even anybody there? Zavian Howard coming at number 10. So our team didn't play great. That's what we can see here from the yearly awards. Let's go ahead and check out the year we had. 4,100 yards. 27 touchdowns to 13 picks. 65% completion rate. Oh, about 64 actually. Yeah. So uh, that's not great. I mean, we definitely need an upgrade there. Rushing the ball. Let's go ahead and see how we did. Okay, that's not going to get it done. 800 yards. Isn't going to get it done there. Six touchdowns, though. Receiving the ball. Mike Isicki leads the team with 76 receptions, 850 yards, five touchdowns. Kenny Stills, 7,803. Devontae Parker, 600 yards, six touchdowns. Uh, oh, wow. Amon Dola, 1,200 yards, 11 touchdowns? Jesus, man. He's, I mean, he's playing well. Might have to keep him around there as long as we can in the slot position. That's pretty decent. Sacks giving up. Oh, wow. Our tackle gave up 12. Our right guard. Oh, interior offensive line is bad, so I'm not concerned about that right now. Defensively, 127 tackles by Raquan McMillan. 102 by the rookie Jerome Baker. 101 by Fitzpatrick. Patrick Chung, 101. Sacks, we get 8.5 from Wake. David got a checks. 7.5. Don't know if I said that right. Probably didn't. Charles Harris here, five. Ooh, I actually like Charles Harris. Yeah, he's going to be one of our probably younger defensive linemen. Great finesse move. Definitely need to get him more involved this year. Um, not a lot of sacks, to be honest with you. Interceptions, we get three from Howard. Uh, two from Baker. Two from Anthony. Oh, uh, man. He didn't have any interceptions. He didn't. Uh, yeah, our Maninka Fitzpatrick. I couldn't think of the name there. Yeah, he didn't have any interceptions this year that's tough but that's going to be it here for the end of the season so i'll do those auto upgrades and then we'll go ahead and hop into free agency here hopefully you know someone goods is available for us this first year we're going to be here in free agency definitely i am going to take a different approach to this free agency i'll show you what i am going to do here there's a few offers i'm making so i'm going to try to offer some decent money here to some offensive linemen i usually don't take this approach i try to get offensive linemen through the draft but it hasn't been working out Awareness is so important for uh, offensive linemen and drafted ones don't start with a lot. So I was thinking about offering a few contracts to Matt Skura here, to the center, and then Jack Muhord here, the right guard. And if we're able to land those two offensive linemen, we're going to be in real good shape because that would give us a decent offensive line. We definitely will have spent a lot of money on the O-line after re-signing Jawoon James. Definitely going to be one of the highest paid offensive lines in the league, but I think it's worth it. And then I'm going to offer a contract here to Darius Smith. It would add a real good talent, a young talent to our linebacking core to go along with uh, our other linebackers that are decent. Our left outside linebacker won defensive rookie of the year or he came in second. So it was either one of those. Let's go ahead and see, though, if anybody's going to accept the contract. I'm hoping they do. Yes, everybody does. That's going to help us out big time. Because if we get a good offensive line here heading into just year two, and when you look at our offensive line now, we got some decent uh, talent here. Josh Sitton's a left guard. So it'll be Muhord here at a right guard, and then Josh Sitton at left guard. So look at that. We're already almost all Bs here on the offensive line. That's really good. Hopefully that'll help us out here, and then we get the linebacker to add to our defense, which should be pretty decent and help us out a lot. So let's go ahead and jump into the draft here. We got to do well. It's very important that we do well this draft as well. Start of the draft here. We pick number eight overall, I do believe. I'm hoping a quarterback still left on the board for us. We'll go ahead and take a look, though. Here, Oh, Nick Bosa gets picked right before we pick. That's rough. I wanted to get him possibly, but now that's off the board. There's a few quarterbacks still available. 
Drew Locke last rebuild didn't do great for me. I've never drafted Jarrett Stidham here. Uh, he's got decent attributes. His accuracy and throw power is really good. He's a late first round talent. So what I'm going to do is I'll see if anybody's offering me any great trades real quick. See if I can trade back a couple of spots maybe. But if nobody's offering to just trade back a few spots, I'll definitely draft somebody here. And nobody is willing to give up their first this year. So we'll probably just take this quarterback. We need one real bad. So we'll take Jarrett Stidham here. Coming out of Auburn. Uh, 75 overall. Quick development. I, I definitely like those skills. This awareness is a little bit worrying. But everything else is great. Great throw power. Good accuracies. So I'm really happy with this pick. And he's got quick development. So we're going to be back here again for the second round pick. Keep in mind, we are going to have those two second round picks for trading the safety we did at the beginning of the rebuild. So I think I'm going to take a linebacker with this one. Make this linebacking core pretty good. Draft Mac Wilson here. He's got decent zone coverage, and that's, that's really good to start off with. 71 overall is not great, but he's going to have decent stats. Why is his overall so low? I mean, he doesn't have great hit power. But he's got good speed, good zone coverage, good tackling. Uh, okay, play rec. So I'm not sure why it's so low. But I'm actually, I'm not mad at this pick. I mean, that he's definitely going to be our starter there, middle linebacker. So we do need a left guard here. Uh, our left guard is getting up there in age. Uh, Josh Sitton, I do believe. So we're going to draft Colton Prater here. He's got decent overall. So we're going to go with him. He's a 76 overall guard. So that's pretty good. He's going to have... 86 strength. He's got decent run block and pass block. Impact blocking is off the charts. So I'm actually pretty happy with this pick. He should start immediately for us at left guard. And we might throw our other left guard up on the trade block. See what he has. Well, I'm really kind of gambling here. I didn't uh, scout any of the safeties, unfortunately. Um, so I'm going to take a gamble on this guy. He's a mid-second round talent. He's got decent overall combine scores. So we'll see what he is. He's a 76 overall. Um, we pick him real late, so I'm happy with that for sure. Jonathan Abram here. Um, yeah, he's decent. I mean, we pick him like in the third, I believe, and he was a second round talent, so I'm happy with that. This year, we definitely are going to have a problem getting to the quarterback. Our ends definitely need some work. Defensive tackle. I'd like to add another one there with God Checks, I believe his name is. Can never get it right here. Late third round. I'm really just looking for the most talented defensive tackle left on the board and this guy looks pretty good b minus finesse move 28 reps look at that 40 yard time he's 6 3 300 and ran a three i mean a four eight that's insane he's a 73 overall um let's go ahead and take a look at his stats not great strength but decent finesse move i definitely am gonna put him there at the second defensive tackle just to see what he does that is gonna be the last pick i do show here unless i do find a gym but if not i'll see you guys here at the start of the second season back here at the start of year two uh our team's definitely gotten better we should have our quarterback here in stidham i'm gonna throw ryan Tannehill on the trade block see if we get any offers for him Kenyon drake is still gonna be our running back kenny stills is our number one receiver parker is gonna move up to that number two role and then Albert Wilson is going to be the slot guy. I'm also going to throw Danny Amendola on the trade block. He's like 34. So I do want to start getting rid of some of these older players. Like Prater here is going to play instead of Josh Sitton. And I feel like we can get a decent pick here for Sitton. So he's also going to be on the trade block. But our offensive line is still looking good. We got two good tackles. Interiorly, we've gotten a lot better. We have a good tight end there in Gesicki. Uh, defensive line here. Robert Quinn, I also put him on the trade block as well. David Godchecks here is going to be our best defensive tackle. Uh, where's that rookie I drafted? This guy right here. I want him to be the second guy. Then Charles Harris should probably be our best pass rusher. I like our cornerbacks, though, with Fitzpatrick, Xavier Howard, and McCain. I do like them together. Safeties, I do like the pick. Abram, free safety, still needs some work. But our linebacking core is pretty young, and they're pretty talented, to be honest. We got Wilson here, the draft pick, Baker, Smith. So I like where our team is right now. So let's go ahead and set our season goal. I think we'll go about nine wins this year. We'll see. But I'll be back here to see if there is any trade offers coming up. Well, I'm only going to end up getting one draft pick, it looks like, out of Josh Sitton. So I feel like I should probably take the Jets here. I don't think they're going to finish great. So 
I'll take the Jets and we'll see if we end up getting a good pick, but nobody else is really offering anything. So we're going to be back here at mid-season. Our record's 1-7. and seven. Jesus. How bad is this team, dude? 1-7? and seven? That's, that's a little tough there. Uh, I thought we had our quarterback, but I guess we'll see at the end of the year what the problem was. Players are going to have to resign. Laramie Tunsil, got to bring him back. Like I said, this offensive line, we're going to spend a lot of money on it. So I'm going to have to hope that it pays off. Definitely going to bring back Laramie Tunsil. Definitely bring back Devontae Parker, Xavier Howard. We'll see how good of a year Kenyon Drake has. Um, But yeah, besides that, maybe Jakeem Grant could be a nice slot guy. Well, let's take a look at his stats. Does he have good? He doesn't have gr good release at all. But he has amazing speed. I mean, that speed is 96? That's tough. I mean, that's really good. But yeah, other than that, I think I'll just bring back Laramie Tunsil, Devontae Parker, and then Xavier Howard. And depending on how good of a year uh, Kenyon Drake has, will depend on whether or not I bring him back. So that's going to be it here for midseason. Back here at the end of the year, I knew we weren't going to make the playoffs after we started horribly, like 1-7. But we finish out 4-12. and 12. Hopefully we do get the number one pick again. That would be helpful for sure. But uh, yeah, we didn't do great. 4-12 and 12 isn't going to work. Um, let's go ahead and check out the upgrades. I'm still not going to do the upgrades myself. I do auto upgrades. But just to see who did well. Meninga Fitzpatrick coming in with another three upgrades. That's pretty decent. Let's go ahead and check out the stats here. Patriots won the division. So they're still doing it even without Tom Brady. Uh, Jarrett Stidham here had a decent rookie campaign, 4,000 yards, 26 touchdowns to 17 interceptions. Uh, I'm going to chalk that up to him being a rookie with the 17 picks, so hopefully that does start going down. 64% completion rate. Rushing the ball, Kenyon Drake had a, well, not a great season actually. About 900 yards, only two touchdowns on the year? That's really not good. Receiving the ball. Mike Kosicki leads the team in receptions again, I think, with 83, 800 yards, four touchdowns. Albert Wilson, he does really good from the slot for me. So I think I am going to keep him definitely. 79 receptions, 1,000 yards, 11 touchdowns. Devontae Parker putting up a good year. And so does Kenny Stills. So if these four uh, receivers here can do work, we're going to be in a good spot. Kenyon Drake actually had some decent receivings uh, as well. Receptions, I should say. Sack-wise, I hope we've went way down. We didn't. We gave Jeremy uh, Laramie Tunsil a big contract, so I'm surprised he gave up 16. The other offensive lineman actually played pretty decent, though. The tackles, though. Maninka Fitzpatrick leads the team with 100. Uh, Jerome Baker coming in with 94. Raquan McMillan here coming in with 91. Xavier Howard 91. Okay, so our defense definitely got better in the tackling department. Charles Harris, eight sacks. David Godchecks there, seven. So Darius Smith, five. Gamo President, three. Okay. I don't know how these guys are even getting sacks right out of my starting lineup. Interceptions here. We get three by Howard. He leads the team for two straight years in interceptions. Jonathan Abram, the rookie safety, gets two picks and then a few one bomb here. Wow. Charles Harris got an interception. That's that's pretty crazy. Let's go ahead and see if we're in the, any of the yearly awards real quick. Uh, MVP goes to Matt Ryan. We're not even in the conversation. Offensive player of the year goes to Deshaun Watson. We're not anywhere in there. Defensive player, Miles Jack again. Not in there. Offensive rookie goes to Jarrett Stidham. That's nice. That'll help you out. Defensive rookie goes to the Raiders. We're actually up there with Abram at number three. Nice. Best quarterback goes to Phillip Rivers. We're not in the top 10, unfortunately, there. Best running back, Le'Veon Bell, not in there. Wide receiver, Keenan Allen. Uh, oh, Albert Wilson's up there. That's pretty good. I mean, he's a slot guy for us as well. No offensive linemen. Defensive line. Charles Harris coming in at number 9. Linebackers. Nobody there. Defensive back. Okay, so we don't have much people in the yearly awards so we're gonna have to hope we get a decently high pick but that's gonna be it here for the end of the season let's go ahead and hop into free agency so we're back here in free agency again second year uh we're gonna offer a few signings here this is gonna be my negotiations gonna offer a contract here to derrick henry 
let go of Kenyon Drake, did not like the production I was seeing. He really did not do great the first two years. So I'm going to get Derrick Henry or at least attempt to. Demarius Randall, we need free safety help really bad. We don't have a great free safety at all. So I'd love to be able to bring him in coming from Cleveland. David Anyamata, that would be a great signing as well. He's going to be a real good defensive tackle for us. He's 27, but if we pay our hand with God checks, that would be a nasty defensive line. And then I'm going to try to offer a little one-year contract here to Randy Gregory. See what he can do because I don't know if there's going to be anybody in this upcoming draft. But we'll see uh, We'll see if there's any good pass rushers in the draft here. Let's go ahead and advance forward here. See if we get any of our signings. I'm really hoping we get him. Come on, what is it with Derrick Henry? He won't ever accept my contracts in any of the rebuilds I do. It's so annoying. We get the rest of them, but for some reason, that's... Oh, God, dude. I just did a Seahawks franchise where I was in the offseason, offered a contract to him, and he rejects it. So, two straight rejections to the face. Uh, that hurts, bro. It hurts. But let's go ahead and hop into the draft here and see who's going to be available for us. So, we're going to be back here in the draft. Uh, we do pick fairly high. We picked number three overall, which is going to help us out. The left end I wanted did go off the board, which is unfortunate for me. Oh, that really hurts. That really hurts, bro. That was a real good left end I was looking for. Uh, is there any uh, pass rushers here? There's a few power rushers. Oh, my. That is nasty. A minus, I mean, A hit power. B plus power moves. And he's got 33 reps. He's a freak, dude. If we get him, we'd definitely move him down to end. That's tough to pass on. We're going to have to go with him. 81 overall superstar development. That's one of the best picks I think I've had. That's insane, dude. He's got nasty power moves. 86? Yeah, he's going to move down to where Randy Gregory is for sure. I mean, he is insane right there. That's really good. So with our second round pick, I am going to take a running back because we did not get any of the ones I was looking for. Oh, there is an elusive back still left on the board. That was a first round talent. He does not have good carrying, so I'm not going to roll with him. Instead, I'm going to roll with this uh, Franklin Murphy. He's decent. He's got B-plus power moves. He's a late second round talent. Uh, he's, got, he's number one in bench, so he, he looks pretty good. He's got great carrying. He's 53 over. I mean, he's 53 in true talent, 75 overall. I mean, that's a decent pick. He's got okay speed. 87 is actually decent. 88 carrying. He should be a nice power back for us. This might be a little bit of a reach, but this guy is really good. BJ McCullen. Uh, he's not got a great 40, a 4.8, but he's got great stats here with B plus power. I mean, hit power, B plus pursuit, and B tackling. He's got good bench as well. He's only 22, so we're going to roll with him. 72 overall definitely was a reach on my part. Really big reach. Well, there still is an interesting quarterback on the board here. I think I'm going to roll with him. He's worst case scenario. I'd be able to maybe pull up a trade here, but this guy's got really good stats. A minus throw power, B plus throw on run, and then B plus short accuracy. So he's gonna be a 78 overall. Quick development. Um he's got he's definitely got better stats than my previous quarterback I drafted. So I mean, man, that might be like I wasted a first round pick because this guy's really good. He's got way better awareness. Gosh, do I want to start him or though or not? This is tricky. This is where it gets tricky, bro. I'll have to figure that out. All right, so with the last pick here that I show you guys, I think I might roll running back again just to get two guys just in case, you know, one doesn't work out. There's actually an elusive back I was looking for. I mean, this guy isn't great. I think I'm going to roll with this guy. He's not got any great moves, but he's got a pretty decent 40. Nice bench rep, so we're going to roll with him. He's a 72 overall. It never hurts to get a little depth there at the running back position, too. All right, guys, we're going to be back here in year three. And I'm not going to lie, it was getting a little bit shaky there for a while. I didn't like where the team was going after the first year, but I, right now we're at a pretty good spot. Offensive line is decent. Paying a lot of money to it definitely paid off because we definitely did put a lot of money in into it. We brought the center in, the right guard in from free agency, and we re-signed Jawan James and Laramie Tunzel. So we've put a lot of resources into this offensive line, and they got great overalls. We get Mike Asicki, who's a 78 overall. He's really good. He's upgraded decently for us, actually, since we started. Uh, Kenny Stills is still here. Devontae Parker. And then I really like Albert Wilson in the slot. He always does well. Uh, Murphy, the 
rookie's going to be starting at running back. We got Stedham here starting at quarterback. I did throw this guy on the trade block. Actually, do we have any offers for him? Philip Ruer. I couldn't think of what to do, to be honest. I want to stay with Stedham. That's a great offer there by New England. They're willing to give up a first-round pick in two years. Do I want to accept that? I think I do. Jacksonville is willing to give me up a second-round pick. Man, what do I want to do here? Um, I really need the pick next year, to be honest. I don't think I'm going to need it in the fourth. So I'm going to accept Jacksonville's offer. I mean, we yeah, we could have got a first, but I really feel like a second round this year is way more better for me than a first round in the fourth year because we can help build the team from there. So this is what our defense is looking like. I really like where it's at. The linebacking core is disgusting. We have McMillan here at middle linebacker. Smith at left, and then Jerome Baker here at right. Our safety core is really good. Abram, 77 overall. We bring in Demarius Randall. Cornerbacks are really good as well with Maninka Fitzpatrick, Xavier Howard, and McCain. And then our defensive line got a lot better this offseason. We have David Godchecks here to go along with the free agent addition of David Anyamata here. Charles Harris was the leading uh, sacker on our team last year. That's pretty nice. And then we had this draft pick is insane. Ray Murrowweather here. We bring him in. We move him to right in from linebacker, and he transitions well. He goes up two points. He's got an 86 strength. Disgusting power moves as a rookie. 83 speed. I mean, this is the makings of a superstar. He's got superstar development, so, I mean, it, he's the real deal here. That's one of the best picks I did, and I'm glad I drafted him. We'll see what kind of year he does have this year for us. So, all in all, I'm liking our team. Let's go ahead and set our season goal here for year three. I think we'll go nine wins. We have a solid team here, and I think we should compete well. Mid-season again, I mean, still not great three and four, but it's better than one win, I guess. But I would hope that we were a little bit more competitive this year. Three and four is not going to do it, but we'll, let's look at the players we're going to have to resign. Uh, I did see Kenny Stills. Okay, we need to bring him back. Uh, yeah, with two years remaining after this, definitely need to bring back him. He's one of our main players. Uh, offensive pieces definitely want to bring back Devon Godchicks here he's a 84 overall defensive tackle I really like him so we got to bring him back Albert Wilson got in and I have to bring him back as well uh, Raquan McMillan want to bring him back Randy Gregory I'll, I'll let go and then Ryan Tannehill I'll let go as well want to bring back Charles Harris and that's pretty much it those are the only people there I want to bring back so that's going to be it here for midseason. Let's go ahead and hop to the end of the year. See if we're in the playoffs and what our stats were. No playoffs once again, and that's that's really going to hurt us there. I mean, I don't know how we finished 6-10. and 10. We're a way better team than that. Let's go ahead and look at what upgrades we got. A few for the quarterback. Albert Wilson has one. Defensively, oh wow, Merriweather's got five. He must have had a monster year as a rookie. Let's go ahead and check out the stats here. See what it's looking like. Uh, quarterback doesn't look like he did great. Unfor actually, nope. He did outrageously good. 3,900 yards, 41 touchdowns, 9 interceptions, 70% completion rate. He had a monster year. Our running back surprisingly played well. I mean, 900 yards, only 3.4 average. I mean, that's decent. Receiving the ball, we had to have a monster year here. Kenny Stills, 82 receptions, 900 yards, 10 touchdowns. Albert Wilson, 70 receptions, 1,000 yards, 11 touchdowns. Almost three double-digit touchdown receivers. 68 receptions, 600 yards, 9 touchdowns for Gesicki. Devontae Parker, I mean, he didn't... I mean, he's a second receiver, and he's doing decent. 600 yards, about four touchdowns. That's not bad, but Kenny Stills and Albert Wilson did amazing. The running back, our receiver running back, actually had some decent receptions there. So blocking, hopefully we did better. Man, one of our tackles has always allowed double-digit sacks. And I've never gotten it. Our offensive line should be decent. I mean, they're really good. Defensively, though, Jerome Baker here, 119 tackles. Raquan McMillan, 111. Xavier Howard, 100. McCain, 88. It's nice to see when your quarterbacks are always real high in tackling. Some quarterbacks will just be disgustingly bad at it. Davon Gotchicks here, seven sacks, five and a half by Jerome Baker, the rookie with five and a half. I mean, that's not great. I was hoping he would have a little bit more. David Anyamata with four. 
interceptions here. We get a five by Howard, two by Raquan McMillan, Demarius Randall with two, and then Bobby McCain with one. So let's just go ahead and see if we're in the MVP race. That's the only one I'll check this time. A little bit upset, though, about how our defense played. I'm not going to lie. Andrew Luck wins the MVP, and we're not even in the top 10. That's a little tough, considering we had a great year, it looks like, at the quarterback. Yeah, 113 rating. That's that's good. Uh, but yeah, this third season is going to end unfortunate for us. We don't make the playoffs this year. But let's go ahead and hop into free agency. We should have a decent amount of money after getting rid of Ryan Tannehill here. So yeah, we should be able to make some signings this upcoming free agency. So back in free agency, we have quite a bit of cap. I am going to make a few signings. One of them is more of a luxury signing, the signing of Taylor Moten. Jawan James just has not been good. We gave him a big contract, and I'm starting to regret it here. I was a little desperate trying to start out with a good offensive line, but he's regressing now, 79 overall. Definitely know that I did not make a great decision on that one, but Taylor Moten's an 82. Two overall, 81 without the confidence boost. And he's pretty decent, so I would definitely like to give him a shot. And then Tariq Cohen, we need a running back. Frank Murphy didn't get a 1,000 yards, even though he played decent. I think the signing of Tariq Cohen, if he does sign, would be great. I mean, he's going to be a real good receiving back, and he's got nasty speed, juke, spin move, everything you would want in a running back. I mean, he's not as powerful, but... We're more of a speed team here, to be honest. Uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and see if they do accept it here. I'm really hoping they do. Tariq Cohen accepts it. Okay, I'm not mad at that. We That was more of a luxury signing, so... Yeah, that's fine with me. Tariq Cohen and then Taylor Moten rejects it, so that's going to be it here for free agency. We add Tariq Cohen, which should add a decent running game to our team. So let's go ahead and hop into the draft here. So back here to do a quick draft recap, uh, I got a decent amount of players here that I like, but the main guy here is going to be the left end, who's going to obviously take over for Charles Harris, Deron Mann here, he is insane, adding him to go along with my rookie last year that I drafted for an end now is going to be really good, this guy's going to be a finesse move monster, he's got 84 overall, I mean 84 finesse, 83 speed. 78 tackling decent strength and he's got all the traits you would want here and he's got quick development 22 i really like him definitely going to be starting for us and then we just drafted another quarterback might throw him up on the trade block see what we can get for him or maybe hold him out to try and get a good trade in for it other than that really nobody else is going to start here our team's pretty decent right now so we're just going to have to really rely on you know just the sim helping us out here but let's go ahead and hop into year four here Hey guys, welcome back here. We're going to be back at the year four mark, and we're not doing too great, to be honest. We haven't had a winning season yet. Um, We're looking about the same, though. Really, the only addition here is going to be Tariq Cohen on the offense. Everything else is the same. Offensive line starting to regress a bit, which is a little worrying. I think I may have screwed myself over here, maybe not getting enough weapons. I thought Devontae Parker and Kenny Stills would upgrade, but they're really not upgrading, and they're about done upgrading. They're 28 Devontae Parker's 28, and then Kenny Sales is probably a little older. Yeah, he's 29. So that's that's definitely going to hurt us there. But hopefully it's still enough. Defensively, though, we're looking pretty good. We have Fitzpatrick, 90. Uh, our cornerback core is decent, and our safety core is decent as well. Uh, linebacking core is good. All 80 overalls there. And then really the only new addition here is going to be Mann at the left end spot, taking over for Charles Harris. Defensive tackles are good. And then Merriweather's really upgraded well. He's up to an 88 overall in his second year, I believe. Yeah, he's only had one year. So, yeah, this is his second year. 88 overall. He's a monster. So, that's really not much of a difference here. Only two new players. But I'm hoping the addition of Tariq Cohen really can help us out. Let's go ahead and set our season goal here. I mean, I'm hoping we get at least 10 wins in the fourth year. I mean, I don't know. Uh, Stidham's played well. So we've really just kind of got screwed over here, but let's go ahead and simulate the midseason, see what our record's looking like, and some players are going to need to resign. All right, so we did make a trade happen here. I actually did want to trade our quarterback because we did draft one, and, uh, you know, we didn't need a second one. Sid Ham's our quarterback, so I was saving this guy to try and get a trade here, and I think this is realistic. We give Tampa Bay a quarterback that may be a bright future for him. He's got decent stats already, and I think he has quick development. Plus, she gave him up a first-round pick, and we, uh, last few years, we've had first-round, like, 
top 10, so I would say this is a realistic pick. We get Mike Evans to add to the squad, and uh, Devontae Parker is probably going to take the slot here. Kenny, actually, Kenny Stills might take the slot, to be honest. He's played really well, and I feel like the slot would suit him. So we might keep Devontae Parker as our number two receiver. I don't know, though. That's a little tough. Uh, I'll, I'll take a look at it, and I'll let you guys know here at midseason. So we're here at midseason. We're 4-4. Four and four. Come on, dude. How is Buffalo 7-1? and one? What? That's insane. And the Patriots are, of course, 6-2 and two without Tom Brady. All right, man. I see how it is. Uh, I'll show you what I did here. I went ahead and made, well, Mike Evans obviously is going to be our number one receiver. Kenny Stills, number two. And then I did put Devontae Parker in the slot. He's got better catch and traffic than Kenny Stills. So I'm hoping that does work out. And then Albert Wilson really probably is going to have a huge role, huge role unfortunately. Uh, but yeah, Devontae Parker, I feel, is probably going to be better suited than Albert Wilson for the slot. I mean, he's like 6'3"? What? That's insane. Okay, 6'3". Got great speed, good catch and traffic, good release, and good overall route running. So I like him there. Um, players we're going to have to resign after starting, unfortunately, 4-4. Four and four, You know, that's not great. Going to need to bring back Beninka Fitzpatrick, Jerome Baker, Mike Gesicki. And that's really going to be it here. There's those three players. Definitely need to bring them back. Gesicki doesn't want a huge contract, which is a little uh, crazy. He's led the team in receptions, I believe, for three straight years. Which is pretty impressive as a tight end. Yeah, so I like our resignings here. How much cap room are we going to have? Oh, wow. We're hurting for money after that Mike Evans trade. Hurting for money. And that's even without Ryan Tannehill. So, yeah, that's that's definitely not good. But I'm hoping that Mike Evans can make the difference that we needed. So we'll get these guys resigned. We'll hop to the end of the season and see what our record is looking like. All right, man. Back here at the end of the season. No playoffs again. I mean... I don't know what's going on. I knew the Dolphins were going to be tough. I didn't think this tough. We finished nine and seven. We've been improving decently, I guess. Nine and seven isn't bad. Uh, I do have one concern here. I need to ask you guys. So we do get defensive upgrades quite easily, but I'm not upgrading offensively at all. Do you guys have any like XP slider sets that are any good? If you do, help a brother out. Leave those in the comments. It will be greatly appreciated. If you have any juicy XP slider sets, because that's, this is just outrageous. I mean, I turned the offensive line XP up a little bit, but it made no difference. So I don't know what to do here. Our offense just isn't upgrading fast. And that's really been my problem with the Sims. My offense just won't upgrade. So let's go ahead and take a look at our stats. I mean, we finished 9-7. and seven. Unfortunately, we couldn't make the playoffs with that. Oh, wow. Sid Ham didn't have a great year, did he? Nope. 3,500 yards, 29 touchdowns, 14 picks, 64% completion rate. He had a great year last year. And we added Mike Evans, and he played worse. Uh, Tariq Cohen, okay, I'll take that, man. 1,200 yards, 9 touchdowns, no fumbles. And he doesn't have a great carrying, so that's pretty impressive there. Receiving the ball, Mike Evans, 78 receptions, 900 yards, 9 touchdowns. Devontae Parker putting up a decent year from the slot, 1,000 yards, 7 touchdowns. Kenny Stills not playing great. Gasicki slowed down a little bit, although he does have seven touchdowns. Pretty impressive there. Uh, blocking. We got eight sacks allowed by Laramie Tunsil. Definitely cut back decently here by the offensive line. But it's always going to hurt you when your center allows six sacks. That's rough. Defensively here, we get 116 tackles from McQuan McMillan. 101 by Jerome Baker, 98 by Howard, uh, Sacks, what do we got? 9 by Ray Merriweather, he's played extraordinarily well. 5 by Godchicks, Deron Mann coming with 4.5. Four, 4 by David Anyamana, who has 13 tackles for loss. Merriweather has 12. Dude, he's insane. One of our best draft picks, we've had 4 picks by Maninka, finally getting up there in interceptions. McMillan with 3, Demarius Randall with 2, I mean... Our offense didn't play well, but Jesus, our defense did. So I'm surprised they didn't really carry us to the playoffs. Oh, man, we're kind of running into an issue here. Fourth year, no playoffs. I really do have to think it has to do with those XPs. So again, if you got any suggestions, leave those in the comments. It would be greatly appreciated again, but that's going to be it here for the end of the season. I mean, not much to go over. No playoffs, not a lot of upgrade points. 
So we're going to have to hop into free agency. Hope we have a little bit of money to spare to make some good signings. I'll let you guys know. So quick draft recap here. We didn't have a first round pick, so it wasn't great. I did not show the free agency as well because we had no room, no cap. So we weren't able to sign anybody, unfortunately, there. That might hurt us real bad. But yeah, draft here, not great. We didn't get anybody that's going to start uh, another quarterback. But I was just drafting really, I mean, I had nobody in mind here. Just really was drafting whatever was on the board because we don't really have any needs right now. I mean, the needs we have are for like elite players. We're obviously not going to get that from the draft. So let's go ahead and hop here into the fifth and final year. We'll check out our team and see what our squad looks like. So we're back here at the fifth year. We know what time it is. It's Super Bowl or bust time, all right? So we need to make the Super Bowl this year. Haven't made the playoffs once. So that's a little tough for us, but roster is looking decent. Still about the same. Mike Evans, uh, really no change here on the offensive side of the ball. Defensive side, no change either. So we're going to have to hope this team just upgraded a little bit. Merriweather is now up to a 91 overall. So he's really good right now. Maninka, 94. So our defense is starting to get there. We're starting to get some good pass rushers. Offense is there as well. Stedham's up to an 80 overall. Cohen. We got Mike Evans, Devontae Parker, Kenny Stills, Mike Kosicki. Good offensive line. Although they're starting to regress a bit, which is a little worrying here in the last year. But that's it. Really what our team's looking like. Not much difference. I'm not going to check back here at midseason. We're just going to go ahead and go straight to the end of the year because it's the last year. There's really no uh, need to check the midseason players we're going to need to resign because we're in the last year so if we don't make it this year the rebuild is over so we got to make it to the super bowl if we want a w in this rebuild all right just simulating these last few weeks here i'm not sure what a record's going to be but we'll see you know we'll see i'm hoping for good uh what did we finish here it looks like we got to buy so whatever we finish is pretty decent we finished 15 and 1 oh my god the afc east also is just not good this year but we finished 15 and one one loss away from i mean one win away from being undefeated again wouldn't that be something if we would have went undefeated with the dolphins that would have been crazy uh so let's go ahead and check out our stats for the year i guess let's go ahead and check how many upgrade points we got still not a lot what's going on here how do we not have a ton of upgrade points defensively let's go ahead and do auto upgrade here and then we'll check out our stats again. Upgrade all players. All right, I want to see what our players' uh, stats are looking like. All right, Stidham's 84. So our offense is actually looking pretty decent. Defensively, though, we're probably better, right? Merriweather. Is he a 96 overall? Jesus, dude. What are his stats? Okay. He's a monster. 96 power move? Okay, dude. That's insane. Let's go ahead and check out the stats. So see what we did this year. Stedham looks like he had a good year. We'll check out his stats. 4,100 yards, 36 touchdowns, 7 picks, 69% completion rate. That's good. Running back Tariq Cohen, 1,300 yards, nearly 7 touchdowns. Murphy putting up 7 touchdowns as well. And Dre Jennings putting up 6. Receiving the ball. Gesicki leads the team in receptions. Even with Mike Evans on the team, 75, 704. Mike Evans, 74 receptions, 900 yards, 7 touchdowns. I moved Kenny Stills to the slot, and I think it was for the best. Because you look at the year he had, 66 receptions, 1,100 yards, average 17 yards per reception, 15 touchdowns. Devontae Parker did decent from the second receiver. Not great, though. Tariq Cohen did work from the receiving spot. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the blocking. Hopefully we played well. Uh, Larry May Tunsil allowed 10 sacks, but besides that, we did decent. Defensively here, 105 tackles by Raquan McMillan, 93 by Jerome Baker, Xavier Howard, 82. Let's go ahead and check out the sacks. We get 13 by Ray Merriweather. He's progressively went up every year, and so has Jerron Mann here, up to eight now. God check six and a half. David Onyemata, six and a half. So we're getting some production now out of this defensive line. Interceptions to Marius Randall, four. Jonathan Abram, four. So safety's both coming with four. Fitzpatrick, two. Howard, two. So we did decent here from the defense department. Offense maybe struggled a little bit receiving, although Kenny Seals put up 15 touchdowns. Let's go ahead and see we're going to be playing here in the uh, divisional round. We'll advance here. Man, I'm hoping it's not someone too tough. Cleveland, they're usually the sim killers for us. We'll go ahead and jump in, though, see what we can do against them. So in the playoffs here, again, remember, fifth and final year. 
so we can hop in and play some of the uh, moments. I only usually like to play the important ones, though, so we'll let our team try to do the most work. We'll hop in here, though, on the third down alert. All right, so haven't played with this offense, so we'll see what they're going to be capable of. We're going to go play action. We'll see what we can do. Got to get that off in a hurry. Gasicki comes up with it. Oh, we almost got drilled there. Gasicki all the way down to the 23. Nice run. We barely got that off, too. Barely. We'll go ahead and continue here. Go ahead and let our team do the red zone alert. They get a touchdown. Yes. Defense, please. All right, we only allow three, but Cleveland has the ball again. What the hell? How do we keep on turning the ball over? Third down and Lord will hop in here again. Man, okay, this is uh, not going well. I, f I mean, Cleveland's up on us 13-7. to seven. Doesn't look like our offense is scoring too great here. Got to toss that down to Tariq Cohen. Please, he gets the first. Can we stay in here? I think we might stay in here for this two-minute warning. We'll see. We'll see what the offense wants. Third down alert. I guess we'll hop in again. Well, I mean, we got Mike Evans. So, on a third down alert, we're just going to have to probably try and get him the ball, to be honest with you. Nope, it's intercepted. Tried to force it. I tried to force it. Gosh dang it, dude. Come on. Don't let it end like this. Team. Defense, please. Come on, dude. Our freaking team just is garbage right now. Third and two. Can you do anything? Red zone alert will hop in here. All right, so we need a touchdown in more ways than one. All right, we need a touchdown really bad. Uh, gonna toss that. Gonna toss that to Devontae Parker. He gets it. Let's go ahead and go hurry up mode. Let's try to establish a little tempo. See if we can score here. We'll go flood. We'll see if we can find someone in the back of the end zone. Hike the ball, bro. Hike it. Oh, no. We get sacked. Manuel Ogba for his second sack of the day. All right, so I'm going to try to find one of my best players here on the offense, Tariq Cohen. We're going to try to get him the ball, you know. He's, a, he's such a threat from the backfield. Actually, no, I don't like it. I don't like it. Miles Garrett destroys my life. Jesus, dude. My gosh. I don't understand why our team is so bad. The Sim just destroys me. Big's third down, and I, I mean, we just can't get a stop to save our life. Red zone alert. Can our team score? Maybe. Nope, it's field goal again. The game is on the line. If we get the ball back, nope. Okay, it's over. It's likely over here. Yeah, if we don't get the ball, okay, it's over. Man. I don't understand, bruh. How do we keep on losing these garbage games in the playoffs? We finished 15 and one. I threw one interception and our defense just was garbage and they had good stats. Nearly the whole rebuild, I don't know, dude. I don't know. I, I think it really does have to do though with the offense not upgrading. Like you seen our defense upgrades well. Like the, our defense had like five upgrade points. The whole rebuild, our offense at most had two upgrade points for one person. That's just not going to cut it. We need to get some of those more upgrade points. Like I see, like Calvin Ridley is a 99 overall. Gasicki ended a 79 overall. That means he only upgraded four times the whole rebuild. So I don't know. I might just have to boost up the uh, offensive XP. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Sorry that we didn't, you know, get anything this rebuild. I knew the Dolphins were going to be tough, though. That's why I wanted to play them. But I didn't know they were going to be this tough. They are definitely probably the hardest team I've tried to rebuild so far in Madden. So if you're looking for a tough rebuild, the Dolphins definitely are the team. Again, if you guys are new to this channel, we do a lot of Madden franchises. Right now I'm doing a Seahawks franchise, quarterback career mode, and we do rebuild. So if you're interested in that, make sure you hit that sub button. It will be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys next rebuild. Make sure you do leave some comments down below and let me know which team you want to see next. I'll shout you out at the start of the rebuild. And we'll go ahead and do that team next time. I'll see you guys in the next rebuild. Peace out.